Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you get started to use the Robinhood app. So I'm going to show you where you can link up your bank account so that you can deposit funds into your Robinhood account and then where you go to invest in stocks and ETFs. Now, if you need help initially signing up and creating your Robinhood account, I'll have a separate tutorial video linked down in the description that you can check out for that. I'm making the assumption that you already have your Robinhood account ready to go for investing. So what we want to do here from the homepage to get things started is linking up our bank account. And we're going to do that by clicking on a little profile image in the bottom right hand corner that's going to take us over to our profile page and from here we're going to click on these three horizontal lines in the upper right hand corner to open up the menu and from the menus page we want to click on where it says transfers deposits withdraws we're going to select that area and that's finally going to take us over to our transfers page where we can link up our bank account and we do that by going down to the linked accounts area click on the little plus sign next to where it says add new account and you'll be able to link up your online bank account using plaid so I've linked up my bank account and now what I want to do is deposit money into my Robinhood app from that bank account. So to do this, we're going to click on where it says transfer to Robinhood. And then you can enter in how much funds that you want to deposit from your bank account over to Robinhood. Let's say maybe you wanted to put in $100, you can enter that in. And then in the from area, it's going to have the bank account that the money is going to come from. And after you enter in the amount, you can click on this green check mark right here to confirm this deposit. And going back to the home page, after you deposit funds into your account, you're going to get buying power. And this is what you can use to buy stocks and ETFs so you can get started with investing. So to do this, we're going to go down and click on this little magnifying glass down here towards the middle. And if you know what stock or ETF you want to invest in, you can simply just search it right in this area up here. Otherwise, you can go down to the trending list and see different categories of different things that you can invest in. Perhaps you're interested in knowing what are the 100 most popular things that other Robinhood investors are buying. You can go through this list and check out all those different companies. Going back to the previous page, there's a bunch of different categories that you can filter things through to check out different stocks and ETFs that you might be interested in investing in. And maybe you're interested in buying some stock in Tesla. This isn't investing advice, but to show you an example of this. So in the browse area, we're going to click on this little search bar up here. And then we start typing in the name of the company's stock that we're looking for. And we can show it pops up right here. So we can click on that. And then that's going to take us over to some more information where we can see statistics on the stock. We can see the trading chart for this company over different intervals of time, whether it's a day, a week, a month, three month, one year, five year. And you can also see recent price action and things such as that. So maybe you want to buy some stock. What you do at this point is click on where it says buy. And the funds that you deposit over from your bank account to get buying power, this is what's going to be available for you to invest. And you can enter in how much that you want to invest in the company or the ETF that you had selected. So maybe I want to buy 10 of Tesla. So I enter in 10 right here and then I can click on review. And then you can just double check to make sure everything looks correct. We have $10. It shows me how many shares that this is equivalent to. And it'll give us our order summary down here. And if everything looks good, we can swipe up from the bottom to submit this. And that's how you go about buying stock in a company. So again, going back to the homepage, these are the main things I wanted to touch on with how to use the Robinhood app where you can hook up your bank account, deposit funds, and then how you can go about starting to invest in different stocks and ETFs with the buying power that you can get by sending those funds from your bank account over to the Robinhood app. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.